Alright folks, welcome back to another Palm Master video, and so we got the new Blue and Lysander double Poke Fairy banner. For some reason, there's only two here instead of the usual three that comes with Legendary Arena. So, uh, the usual question, should you summon on this banner? No, absolutely not! Do not summon on this banner, oh my god! Look, um, it's, it's probably cause, cause there's like no, like, ghost type poke fair or whatever right that's why it's only like two units but they could have just like thrown in like another like support on there they should have, like thrown in as they always do <laughs> let me just throw in classic red on a banner and, and call it a day because they, they do that a lot it seems uh but you know it's whatever right ss blue and lysander are they good units first of all yeah yeah they're 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 not they're not bad units right by by no means um, are they good enough units where to the point that you should spend gems on them instead of saving for the anniversary or a Hoenn arc or even summoning on the Gloria banner that's up or the Karina banner that's up right now? Uh, no, they are not that good to spend all your gems right now chasing after, right? And again, they're not bad units. Both of them are not bad units. Uh, especially with Flying Zone now, Evil Tal's okay. I still don't think he's great, right? I mean, if you'd ask me, you know, to me to pick a flying type damage healer to run in, in Flying Zone, Evil Tal would not be my first pick. It would not be my second pick. It might not even be my third pick, right? And again, this is not a knock against its ability. It's fine. Right, it's just, it's just not. There's just there's better. There's better flying type options available. All right, for damage healers. Uh, as for Sing Su Blue, this guy's a this guy's a weird one because like he started out as this uh, big general support that could do you know that could buff anything and and everything right, and now he's kind of relegated to a very very specific niche support which is kind of weird right. Um, to see his role change throughout the years. He is now basically a secondary option for a rain team support for the most part, right? Again, not saying you can run him and a lot of other teams, but really the best place you could really run SS Blue is, again, if you don't have Suicune, then you could run SS Blue instead on a rain team, right? With obviously someone else who already sets rain themselves um in and and again in that scenario it's just like a lot of times in almost all scenarios suikun is just better right there are certain scenarios for example if you are running a more physical water team I, i'm not even sure if he's that much better right um but but he is very nice in rain teams uh, because of the fact that as a support, his Hydro Cannon, in rain teams specifically, right, and generally, usually with Kyogre, with the extra bit of damage boost, uh, he could uh, supply a lot of nice extra damage coming in from the support side, which is why he's really, really nice in those scenarios. And the reason why I say, uh, again, he's, he's kind of been relegated from a much more general support to a very, very specific support is, uh, if, if you look, well, hey, what if I run him on a physical team? Let's say, let's let let's say, let's run him on a physical electric terrain N team, right? N and Zekrom. You could do that. He's just not the best option. He's not the best. He's not the number one option for a support on that team. He's not the number two option on that team. He's not the number three option on that team. He's probably not top five options that you could run on that team, right? Just because of the fact that we, nowadays we have so many much, much better specialized supports for specific scenarios in almost every scenario, right? Where someone like a Sing Su Blue wouldn't be as good in there, right? Wouldn't be a top three option or top four option in those uh, teams, right? And And now he's more of a again more of a specialized support where he's very very nice um in a lot of rain teams right uh where again he could also contribute offensively rather than just be there as a very slow buffing support right there's just so many faster more powerful again whether it's physical or special special you got stuff like suicune you got the 
um, the the ghost Lily. Obviously, you got the uh, the the Celestia, the Sabrina, this and that. And then for physical, you got Yamper, Aaron, Vespaquin, Hilbert, right. And then even for for like both, you got stuff like um, now that Lyra has an EX, that's an option. Um, you got you know a uh, Faulkner, right? There's there's just a lot of other generally supports that do what he does except faster right and and better uh so again it's especially good for 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 stuff like legendary look I, I don't even know why i have to like explain to you guys like how good or whatever these units are it's not even like a them thing because again like i mentioned before i do think they're still good units right i mean assessus blue i'd still say is a top top 20 support in the game Lysander's a very, very nice damage healer that could survive relatively well as well. Uh, well as well. In a in a flying zone team, right? It's just that again, it's it's not 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 the time, bro. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Anniversary's coming up. Next Vilnark's coming up. Again, unless you're a massive, massive, massive Lysander or Eva or SS Blue or Blossom's fan, right? This is oh, skip, bro. This is you don't even want to think about this, right? And uh, again, it is slightly weird that it's like one, you know, it's only them two. Although the rates aren't too bad, right? Because it's two 1.5% over here, which is like a 3% chance to get either of them. But that, 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 that's, that's not, a, that's not a reason for you to pull in these. Okay. We, we don't even have to talk about, oh, what's Lysander's place in the meta right now? What's SS Blue's place in the meta right now? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter, bro. Save onto your gems. Unless you're a whale. If you're a whale, then sure, whatever, right? You could pull for whatever. You could, you know, you don't, you don't have to watch. You don't have to listen to me. I mean, no one has to listen to me, technically. <laughs> but, uh, again, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just here to give suggestions, okay? You don't have to follow what I say. I'm just saying, man, <laughs> this is not the time to be pulling on these random rerun banners, okay? <laughs> they're good units they're fine units right if you pull on them and you get them congratulations you got a good unit okay <laughs> but not the time bro not the time not the time not the time okay this is not the time not the time that's the main message that's, just, that's all <gasps> despite that i'm gonna do a daily discount <laughs> oh oh hey Speaking of Hilbert, right? Well, that's really this one, I guess. Hope you all enjoyed. Again, it's, I'm not trying to like slander or these. I, I think both are really, really nice units. It's just that you guys know. You guys know, okay? <laughs> Anyways, um, have fun. We're gonna we're gonna try out the new Grizz for the Poem Masses Day later on. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in the next one then.